than usual, but it's 11 p.m. again, which is how we started every single stream. So supposedly we're throwing the match today for a Grand Blue, which would mean that uh, that's a real battle. Oh boy. Similar to our Grand Blue battle is a real battle. Except we're throwing it, so I don't know how that works. Let's see. Level 51. Four levels higher than I am, and I fought these things before, so I think we've won, unless something stupid happens. Typical. Alright. Sorry! Well, this is gonna get weird. Um, I'm down a person, and Itsuki does nothing against these units. You know what? I want a YOLO. Let's see where this goes. Yes. If I can manage to get one bar of super, I might be able to make this happen. If I die early, I'm completely fine with that because I just start this game. Awkward. Good. There we go. Block? Yes! Oh, Mamari is a champ! Wow, she almost invalidates this fight. Okay. Uh... I'm looking for a trigger. Any dual art. Nope, okay, not happening. She invalidates the fight. Okay, alright. I like this. I'm gonna keep going. Actually, I'm pretty curious if this works. If no one says anything in the next five seconds in the chat, you all praise the goddess Kirino. Let's see. Technically, there's chat delay, so I'll give it 10. Mazina. Go figure. 
Nice combination. Next time, Tano. So, how should Knight? Hopefully, not too bad. It's been a pretty crazy week. Obviously, if you've been here with us, you know that already. I'm still burning out from it, actually. But I don't want to burn out too badly from it, because I want to keep playing. I like this game a lot. And I'm hoping that the coming games that we stream will also be enjoyable. Oh, shit! Uh, I'll, take, uh, I'll take this one. Alright. And Nick, how you doing? Hey, that's a rookie. Hey, 21. Oh, you guys come out out of the woodworks. I almost never see you guys here. Well, I'm not sure. I see Asuroki once in a while. 20 I haven't seen in a while. Nick I see, like, usually midday, not around for these streams. We, we won this. It, we won this because of one character. Uploading them? Um, I'm not recording these, actually. I only have it on Twitch Archive. My hard drive died, and I would like to have this one. So my hard drive died, and I haven't replaced it yet. But I could put these on YouTube, why? Texan, please, I see you here all the time. I survived that entire battle based on one character. Alright, give her a good level up. I think she deserves it. Hope so. More defense. Good enough by me. I was really thinking about resetting the game too because uh, encountering a savage battle so early you can just reset, right? <laughs> I didn't want to use like expensive <laughs> items and it ended up working out. Yeah. Uh, yes, VH, they did actually. But the quality of uploading via Twitch versus uploading via recording is obviously different. Oh, uh, <clears throat> T. Gutierrez, thanks for following, man. So we've been getting a lot of followers lately. And uh, although our viewer count hasn't particularly been high, this game has brought a lot of extra new people to watch the stream. Let's Jonah, thanks for following as well. The thing is, uh, we've been getting a lot of followers off air as well, and I don't understand why at all, actually. I'm in a puzzle area right now, so I'm trying to figure out what's the solution while also leveling up. Yeah, our audience typically isn't, you know, from Europe, so... Catching them now makes a lot of sense. Alright, no luck for that is actually something I wanted. Unless we already have it. I think we do, actually. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> My bad. Is that she hasn't class changed yet, so we don't have her class weapons. Which is an issue, actually. She's being held behind because of that. No, it's it's okay, man. You don't have to sub. It's fine. Alright, anyway. The more important thing is solving this puzzle. Which we kind of left up in the air. 
when I went to bed last night. Actually, I didn't go to bed last night. If you were there, what happened was I was about to go to sleep, and I went on ground blue, right? And then I was like, what the fuck? Are they actually trying to, like, sneak one past us? Because we had a huge lead. Like, a gigantic lead. And then, like, all the Japanese woke up, and they were trying to take the lead back from us. So, I was like, okay, uh, this, this is what I've been up here for, right? This entire time. I'm streaming Tokyo Mirage Sessions at night to stay awake, right? And I'm checking Grand Blue every single hour. This, 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 this is the moment, right? <laughs> this is what I've been fighting for. So, so like, I notified the guild, and uh, we fought from... I think it was something ridiculous, like 4 in the morning until 8 in the morning. And the final score was a difference of 20 million points, which could have been done within a span of six, three to six minutes, easily. So if no one was there, if I wasn't awake, for example, or if like randomly people from the East Coast weren't waking up, we would have lost that. That was a fun moment. I actually really enjoyed that. Like the tension of winning or losing based purely on your efforts in the last moments. <laughs> That's fun. But anyway, uh, stream was a little late today because I was hungry. I ended up going to get Taco Bell. I kind of regret that decision, actually. Okay, I was stunned. That's all that matters. Okay, so I gotta solve this puzzle. What the fuck? I hit, hit the wrong button by accident. Oh, fuck me. That legit just screwed almost everything up. Oh, Caitlyn Wickets, thanks for following too. Okay, uh, I hate how the main character does nothing this battle. Yes. I need to switch out Kyria for Ellie. And once I do that, I get a long chain. You have ideally a few more turns of them being stunned. Oh, well, that's that dream is gone. And the main character is almost dead. Nope, good. Good proc, good proc. Proc? Good. Switch. This battle is going too slow. Uh, Mamori is... She knows Lance attacks, and she knows Ice attacks. So it just happens to be that this battle is perfect for her. Did you really? Okay. Fair. Okay, I want to force this. Maybe not that hard. Oh cool, I got a charm, that's good. So if I don't kill him this turn, which is likely. Perfect. Okay. Okay, now he's probably right this turn. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Kill this. There we go. Alright, Ren. Oh, 
You know, I actually haven't watched Master of Martial Arts yet. Only like in passing here and there. Block. Okay, well, can't be lucky all the time. Speaking of lucky, <laughs> she has guts. She should have been dead. Uh, which one is it? Gain SP. Yeah, take SP. SP. There we go. Again? Uh, I'll take more SP. <laughs> Wow, I feel like I'm using up my luck right now. I wish like, I bought a lottery ticket. Or I rolled in Grand Blue. If a trigger happens again during the same session, I'm gonna start rolling. I'm not even joking. Okay, good. I saved my money. Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> Thanks, Reggie. <laughs> Thanks, Mamori. <laughs> what an amazing character. Oh, that's a bit overkill. Yes. Well, okay, my luck had to end somewhere, but I didn't want to end on level ups. Okay, show them what's up. That's not showing what's up, that's pretty boring. Okay, alright, alright, my, my luck ended there. How's Guild War going? Um, we're not actually trying to fight this battle. So the fact that we're even with them right now is kind of awkward. I think neither of us are trying. Mm. It also makes me wonder if someone sent a formal surrender to the opposing guild. And that's the reason why they're not bothering to make any lead right now. Because we're, we're so dead even that if I were to stop playing this game right now, and walk over to Grand Blue and start grinding, I would have a lead over the Guild Wars uh, opponent. If, you know, if, if I chance that like the whole Guild wakes up and we're still even, I'm gonna see if we can like try to sneak one past them. It's not that we want to lose, it's just that we don't have any resources left, right? Because of the push last night that happened because they wanted to take it from us. Uh, a lot of us are low on materials, so it's hard to host battles and fight. So I'm thinking right now, like, maybe they're in the exact same position. I want the 5-0 dream, because you get a title if you 5-0 in a guild war. And it's a good-looking title. I, I want to wear it. I want to be like, yeah, our guild is strong enough to do this, right? And we are. Yeah, I don't... I haven't heard of anything about a formal surrender. Like, no one has told me that, right? And Hydru hasn't said anything about it. Dom hasn't, like, messaged me about it. And, yeah. But if we did send a formal surrender, it would be scummy to try to take it away from them. And uh, I wouldn't be that guy. I wouldn't do that. On that note, I'm trying to figure out the solution to this. Uh, it's a little more than just... Uh, Okay, you know, you'll see as I try. Don't worry, just watch around. 
So bottom to top. Bottom to top. I don't think I've been there. Yet. Yeah. Bottom to top. Okay. Right now it is bottom to top as well. So both are bottom to top. I mean, yeah, you could say that, but like, even in war, there are certain standards that you shouldn't break, because you know the Geneva Convention and stuff. Now, like, if you're doing, yeah, I think I'm locked out. So the issue right now is that the left and the right provide me a way to get out of this area. So this is not a solution. I want to take mid to top. All right, so the mid level is what's provided. Mid to top. Okay. Yeah, I've been here already. And I believe blue is also top to something. <laughs> top to bottom, I believe. I'm looking at the floor right now to see what my options are. There might be another um, mannequin trigger. Okay. Right. I don't know, Energize. I'm not gonna shoot medics on the battlefield to win. Wow! This game wants to kill me. Actually, there is. Okay, let me switch, actually. Actually, switching from this position is very dangerous. Because I was going to switch to a sword user, and there are two flyers with lances. Trigger? Uh, it's, not, it's, not that, it's not that bad. So, anyway, uh, right now, uh, a couple of the viewers are trying to convince me to play a Falcon game called. Trails in the Sky. Uh, the main reason is I actually bought Trails in Cold Steel, I think that's what it's called. Trails of Cold Steel for the PS3 and PS Vita. And I was planning to play that. But um, a lot of that game comes from the history of earlier Falcon games. <laughs> Yasha Soul. Okay, I wanted this. It's uh, raised the physical crit. Yeah, so I don't think many people would watch me play that game, but um, I've been told that it's a... Quite frankly, I've been told it's the best written JRPG right now, right? So I'm thinking about that, like, 
I haven't really enjoyed a role-playing game story in a very long time, and I'm thinking, what would that mean if it's the best written? Okay, so I'm trying to top already. Actually, no, I think what I have to do is I have to, um, here. So go to the right, mid, mid to high, right? Take the high, drop down from the other mannequin, which is blue. Unless that wasn't an option, I'll double check right now. That could be a possible solution. Top left over there is blue. Again? Jeez, this thing's won't leave me alone. Le leave me alone. <laughs> there you go. I am not paying attention to what is happening to me. Okay, uh... There we go. Where am I? There we go. Okay, so I'm cut off here. Yeah. But there's another... Top right there. Top left. What? It's cut off from me? What the hell? How do you get over there? You know what? That's probably the end goal. Like, getting up there to the top left is probably where the stage ends. Okay, so I'm denied access to the bond right now? Okay. That, that has to be the case. Okay. No, that isn't the end goal. That can't be true, because the end goal is uh, having both the mannequins in a certain pose, which is the blue one, bottom to top. Yeah, we're talking about trails, right? And I was told that it was the best written JRPG, and I don't know how true that is, but if it is actually true, I would like to experience it, because I've been desensitized to gaming stories as being good, unless they're written by visual novels or something. Well, I mean, like, so let's say that isn't the best. Uh, in terms of its okay. writing potential, what would be better than this? Right, would you say Final Fantasy? I, I'd be like, I kind of shrug that off. I don't think Final Fantasy games have an amazing story at all. To experience, sure, but on like, paper, not so much. Okay. Shadow Hunts? Really? Like, that's how I feel about a lot of role-playing games, by the way. Uh, I think the Persona series... Well, that's not true. I can say the Persona 3 and Persona 4 uh, out of the series. They're good RPGs to experience the story, but on paper, I don't think the story is that great. You, you, do you understand what I mean by that? Like, it, it's a good story when you experience it, but looking back on it, like pushing it away from you for a bit is like, that's not really that amazing. It was just really fun to experience. And I can get that. That's the whole point of why you play games in the first place, right? It's so you can have like interaction and involvement with what you're doing. And that's why stories for games can be uh, an additional factor to your enjoyment and your involvement and your everything to it, really. Odin Sphere. So Odin Sphere is interesting, right? Because Odin Sphere is based off of uh, Norse mythology. And it takes a lot of its story from Norse mythology. Go figure, duh, right, duh. That's, that's the same like, that's the same like birds fly. Um, 
Although I'm not 100% sure about this, I'm pretty sure that a decent amount of the story is based off of the Nibelung Ring Cycle, written by... Was it written by Wagner? I know it's a play cycle written by Wagner. Uh, he's a... He's an opera writer, in case you don't know that. Wagner's also a dragon in Odin's Sphere, by the way. And uh, the Lord of the Rings was also based off of that cycle. You know, the one ring to control them all, that ring, the trail, that you use to put into that gigantic machine that fucks everything over and causes, like, Ragnarok and Armageddon. Yeah, that's that's the ring. That's that's the ring right there. That's an emblem ring. All right. Uh, it also, it's a ring that also makes you invisible in Lord of the Rings, I believe. I'm not sure if it's, they're separate rings or they're the same ring. I forgot about that because I read this a long time ago. Um, top, top. Hit the bottom, hit the bottom of the sweat, Separate rings, okay, you remember that. I, I'm lost right now. I don't know what the solution is. Mazina. It's been a long time since I've. I don't want to say a research, but I did take a class of Norse mythology at one point. Only for fun, though. It was worth it. I had a great time. I'm glad that I did that. Then I'll let the trail story? Okay, see, I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. And I don't want to put my hopes up, because sometimes too many expectations leads to huge disappointment, like Star Ocean 5. <laughs> Uh, actually, I want to refresh my memory on North Mythology. So, which which one was it? Was it Siegfried that rescued uh, Brynhild from the Circle of Fire? Or was it Sigmund? I forgot, because they both have similar names. And then, why was Brynhild in the Circle of Fire? It was because of Odin, right? And uh, I think Brynhild did some type of betrayal. That's the reason why. Like I said, it's been a long time, which is why I'm asking. Yes, Lifeline does bring you into the story. I guess. What was her betrayal? And you'll notice the parallels with this, because Brynhild was asleep in the Circle of Fire, and who wakes up Gwendolyn in, like, Odin's Sphere, right? And what did Gwendolyn do that put her to sleep, right? She betrayed Odin, her father. It's actually really fun to see the parallels. And then, like, there's certain, like, liberal interpretations that okay. Odin's Sphere does with its story. That's really fun. If you're into most mythology. Show 
ナイスコンビネーションつないでくれ援護行くわやったわ Although, I do have a question. Because、um, I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've played Odin Spear as well. I did play the, the most recent release, but I haven't beaten it, so there's that.、Um, you know how Loki is an instigator of problems in Norse mythology, right? Was there a Loki in Odin Spear? I don't think so, right? And if that's the case, that's a very big difference. Yeah, like I said, there's some like liberal taking in、uh, Odin's here. Ying is not a way for Loki. I didn't know that actually. Cool. Okay, I'm, I'm running out of like EP pretty badly. <laughs> Are you studying North Technology? Actually, that's an interesting major if you're doing that. I actually applaud it though. Yeah, like if, if you're a writer,、um, being knowledgeable about your myths is very useful. Because borrowing from the past is. I mean. It's obvious, right? Borrowing from the past is a useful way of progressing your story and giving illusions. I, I hope so.、Um, my investments with stories lately have come purely from visual novels. And Zero Escape, I would argue. Is part visual novel, but I never, I've never been the guy who said visual novels aren't games. I think they are. I don't need no confuse.、Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> That is a big deal. I'll definitely take no confuse away. Take win expertise. Yeah,、uh, the thing about visual novels, though, is that it's a medium, in my opinion, that. Okay, here's a, here's a really, really butt answer. And by butt answer, it's obvious. Okay, so visual novels are not as. I'm trying to think of the correct word for this. Word accurate as poetry. Alright, and poetry has a form that requires its word structure to meet its form. Not all of them, right? The free form poetry.、Um, to meet its form, and every word has to have. Well, not, not for everyone, but every word has to have a significance towards the whole structure of the form, right?、Um, when it comes to. Word structure and freedom of word usage, you can have some、uh, you can have some fluff in what you write. And a good example of that is. I just forgot his name. Dickens. Okay, Dickens. Charles Dickens. A good example of that is Charles Dickens, because he was paid by the word, right? And that's how some writers were paid back in the day, by the word. So he would put a lot of filler words into his novel, right? So. In my opinion, the novel is less word accurate in terms of structure than like, the poem. And the visual novel is a step past the novel. 
right? It's not just a novel, it's a visual novel. You can use other aspects of um, art to allow for a story to be told. In which case, that means that the emphasis on how accurate a word is to portray a scene can be lessened because you have other elements such as music, such as voice acting, such as um, the visuals of the scene portrayed through the image to help convey that story. All right. So uh, anyway, where I was getting with this was that if you see that a lot of visual novels tend to have a lot of fluff, it's in my opinion part of the medium and if you want to take a step past even that, I feel like light novels have even more fluff. And then the worst of all the fluff in the world is web novels. Web novels have the most fluff written in them out of all like the the written genres that I read. I right? say that pretty damn confidently. Because they're not like reviewed by editors, they're not um they, they, sure they might have peer editing, but they're not like professionally edited to have uh, word accuracy. Talking so much, I forget what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to the bottom floor, I'm pretty sure. There we go. So, like, when you read a visual novel that has a lot of fluff in it, um, there's a few things to keep in mind. Like, it's it's part of, like, the structure, in my opinion. It's more lax than a professionally written novel where there's no other aspects to help the medium. It's just writing, right? Visual novels have everything combined to make it work as a story. And that's actually one of the main things I dislike about certain visual novels, the amount of fluff that's in it, right? And it's like portrayed as like character building and and slice of life stuff makes this thing better and yada yada yada, right? Like, okay, cool. I get that. Slice of life is a genre. Awesome. But um, the balance of progression of plot via... Sorry. The balance of progression of plot versus, say, character portrayal isn't always that well balanced in visual novels. That's my opinion. Feel free to, you know, have your own. Uh, some visual novel writers, for sure, have a better balance of that. Um, I think one of the hardest ones for me to read was... I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Super Ashiki, starting out, was... Oh my god. It was so freakishly heavy on life, uh, slice of life moments. That I didn't care, right? I don't, I'm not reading Super Ashiki for a slice of life story. I'm reading it for its supposed philosophical handerings that make it more interesting than the rest. Because that, that visual novel has a lot of uh, hype going behind it. But when it gets to what's good, it certainly gets to what's good. That's worthwhile. Pass the exam? Too. Holy no, I did not. We're, we're, we're so past that now, we're not even doing that anymore. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it'll probably get better as the medium gets older and people will realize, like, what's. Uh, what can be applied and what can't be applied. When it comes to, like, uh, what I think is the essence of good visual novel writing which is the combination of music, voice acting, writing, and ideally some aspect of gameplay. That's my opinion, right? Uh, I think of... I think of... I almost want to say Phoenix Wright, but it's a story that is more... I still feel it's more of an experience than what's written. But at the same time, isn't that really what you really want from a visual novel? More of like an involvement with the story than just the story being well written. Say. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I'm thinking about that actually. I don't have all the concrete answers. I'm still thinking about what's what's a thing, what's not. And I'm still trying to figure out yeah. this puzzle while talking about all these things in my head and bouncing yeah, ideas. I'm, I'm lost. I'm, I'm straight up lost, guys. Shit. <laughs> okay, so. You know? I have never heard of you know. What is it about? I'm actually really down to try more visual novels out. Uh, when I took a break, I tried. 
I played a lot, actually, like a huge amount. I played Steins Gate. That took like 40 hours of my life, but it felt very short. 40 hours, very short. Kind of questionable, right? Yeah, yeah really, really fun, though. Uh, I did that. I did a little bit of Grisaya. I did Root Double, which I recommend to people, by the way. Um, although, there, I do have really solid complaints about Root Double, but it's strong for what it is. Uh, I tried Swan Song, which I do not recommend to many people. Even though I enjoyed it, it was just something that made me want to throw up. Uh, I bought Car no Shoujo and I haven't played it yet. And I'm still thinking about when I want to play that. A time travel vision novel. I also, uh, I also reread Phenomena. Really, that's pretty impressive. Okay, I'm, I need a bounce in this dungeon. I'm, I'm suffering from EP loss. I have no idea what I'm doing. I need to take a step back. I mean, time travel was, I, I just straight up say, Steins um, for that. I think that's honestly very well written. I applaud that guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bounce. I don't know what the solution to this puzzle is, and I need EP. This, this is a combination of things I need to figure out right now. Also, by bouncing, I can allow this chat to go on further on the topic that we're on. So besides leveling up, I, I have new passives, I believe. Hey, EMP, how you doing? Well, I think referring you to EMP would not be the most accurate way because there's so many EMPs out there. Uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing, how are you doing? Let's go with that. <laughs> Sorry, is that true? My mic has buzzing tonight? Let's check that. Uh, we're gonna do a test. Tell me if you hear buzzing, okay? Testing, one, two, three. If you hear buzzing, let me know right now. And if there's buzzing, I can fix it. It's probably uh, my... What do you call it? Um, my... Capture card, my capture card. It's buzzing, okay. So I'm gonna do the first thing. Uh, usually if there's buzzing, it's a capture card issue, in which case a refresh will fix it. So. Uh, I want to refresh right now. When you hear me say the word Pikachu, please say Pikachu back. <laughs> because that would mean that the refresh worked and suddenly audio is not cut out or something. Also, Pikachu is a really random word. They're still buzzing. Okay, so the buzzing is probably a wire issue then, so give me a second.
Okay, uh, Magneto. Is there still buzzing? If they're still buzzing, I'll do another refresh. I don't think the wires were screwed up, but I... Well, it could have been, because I unplugged it last night. Uh, we'll see what happens afterwards. Very slight. If there's very slight buzzing, it's... Uh, it's 100% the, the wires. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back to it, okay? 100% uh, the wires. Oh, uh, I mean, I've had these wires for quite a while now. Like, these specific ones, actually. So having replacement stuff is it is part of being a streamer, let's be honest here. I, I stream enough as it is, where having replacement equipment is always a necessary thing. Like, during uh, my streams of anime conventions, such as AOD, I had to bring an entire extra box of equipment in case equipment failure happened. And lo and behold, it actually did happen. So, that's why... <laughs> Prepping for things like that. Oh, you're gonna hear that. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, I hear that. Hang on. All right. I think. Nope. I also hear the buzzing, by the way. <laughs> I think I fixed it. That last little transition there. But yeah. Uh. Streaming's a blow up. Things, things will go wrong all the time. Yeah, there we go. See? I don't, I've done this long enough now to know and isolate issues. In fact, I've done this since late 2009. Even earlier, actually. No, actually, that's, that's not true. I've done this since late 2009. It is 2016 now. I've done this for seven years. <laughs> My god. Not many people can say that. Although there's some new streaming technology that I have to become accustomed with in the future. So I want to eventually get down on that. A lot of it is really easy, actually. A lot of the new stuff that's coming out is really easy to handle. And they're doing that on purpose because they want to cater to a larger audience of streamers, which is a demographic that's growing nowadays. And they want to make their product marketable, obviously. They don't want to have something super, super, super hard to understand, like a TriCaster for people who have no idea what the hell that is. It's like a TriCaster is a equipment used for professional TV stuff. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> right, I, don't, I don't own a TriCaster, I can't afford a TriCaster, I'm not going to be using a TriCaster. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a streaming demographic. <laughs> you still hear buzzing, it's there but just not as loud. Uh, pretty sure that's... that's Probably the call to buy new wires. So I'll, I'll do it. Uh, honestly, I should do it sometime this week. You're watching via live streamers buzzing at 100% volume. Okay, uh, one last, one last fix. We're gonna do a refresh, and I'm gonna adjust those wires one last time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't hear the buzzing on my end. Which could also mean that it's the transition from my mixer to the capture card that's causing the issues. Alright, that's probably about as good as I can do it. Is the buzzing still there? Just so I know, by the way. Yeah, it's it's pretty much time to replace the wires. I, I guarantee you that. Which is fine, because I need to make a purchase from Monoprice anyway. 
And, well, you know, although Mono Price is incredibly cheap, I've had a lot of their stuff die. But, you know, it, that's, just part of, that's just part of life. <laughs> the, pr the price is what you get. Alright, see you later. Yeah, I, I mean, I've seen Spooky Street before. He's been to NorCal Regionals, and I've seen the, the huge mess of wires. That's that's how it always is, <laughs> really. Like, if you ever bring like a lot of equipment to stream at events, you're bringing tons of equipment. And then there's the risk of it being damaged in transportation, which is what happens for, other, for us all the time, right? We're transporting equipment from, like, one area to another, two hours away, typically. It's what we do on our local drives. I wouldn't even call it local anymore. Well, that was a three-hour drive. It was really exhausting. Anyway, uh, that just means I need to buy equipment probably after I'm done with the stream. I'm going to go purchase it, and I'm going to prep for the stream after Tokyo Mirage sessions. <laughs> Hang on. Did I follow already? Yeah. Uh, here's a better question to the stream, because this is really important. Was, uh... Were my previous streams also having buzzing? And I know some of them did, but uh, supposedly I fixed them at one point. So I want to know how long was the issue prevalent. No? Not recently. Okay, one last l one last fix, okay? By the way, this is why I don't <laughs> this is why I'm not uploading these uh, videos to YouTube directly. It's because like issues like this. So I'm disconnecting a uh, sound loop isolator. It's essentially what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm putting it directly into the mixer. Tell me if you hear the buzzing still. If you do not hear the buzzing, then I am a little confused. Okay, so it's not actually a fix. Alright, so that's all the passive, I believe. The buzzing was still there when you took that cable out, and no other sound was there. Buzzing was there even when you took the cable out. Buzzing was there even when you took the cable out. Oh, I hear it. So when I turn the game down, I don't hear it. But when I turn the game up, I heard it. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, it's not a mixer issue. It's the sound being uh, taken out from its source. That's the issue. It's 100%. Okay, so if that's the case, it's 100% this. It's the HDMI audio splitter. That's 100% the issue. I can guarantee you it. Okay, hang on. Oh! Well, I just fixed it. Watch. <laughs> Fucking. Streaming is a blow up. Really? That was the problem? Oh my god. I want to kill myself sometimes. <laughs> okay, watch. I I've solved it. I'm going to turn back on uh, a few things, and you're going you're gonna to hear the it being solved. <sighs> well, I mean, doing this for seven years, and you still get fucked over about obvious things, huh? Actually, it happens to everyone, though, <laughs> because there's so much shit that you have to like, keep maintained. 
that sometimes you just forget. Happens all the time. I guarantee you it. Happens all the time. Okay, buzzing's gone. Done. Right? Done? <laughs> Fucking. Ugh. This, this is the life of a streamer, man. I know how Arturo feels. Fuck. <sighs> you still hear it? Well, I know I solved most of it. Anyway, where am I? If you go up to 125%, but 100% is okay. Okay, all right. That's just that's just pushing it, guys. <laughs> you know what? If I jumped a million percent up to the moon, I would lose the air too. Okay, shit. <laughs> There's not enough air in this room. Let me jump higher. <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're gonna move forward. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, uh... Quite frankly, I'm doing as much as I can to avoid the puzzle. Because... I just want to chat with the stream right now. So we're going to do a side quest instead of the puzzle. Which makes a lot of sense. Side quests give me benefits. This camera is... just going to fuck me over. Alright. Hang on, I need to adjust. It's like an angle thing. There we go. Classroom film set again? Okay. Right, easy. We can talk about anything, really. That's the fun thing about RPGs, right? It's a lot more freeform commentary, if you ask me. Unless you're a speedrunner, in which you gotta talk about, like, like the techniques of what you're doing. But I'm not a speedrunner, and thank god I'm not. That's really exhausting. どうした実は相談っていうのはね分かってると思うけどこの間のハリウッド行きのことなのオッケータラチの監督から話があったやつうんハリウッドにタラチの監督の大ファンがいてね彼を監督に起用して日米合作で映画を作るんだってでその話にエリーもバッテキされたってわけかうんよかったね夢が叶ったんだそそれはそうなんだけど話が急すぎるっていうかまだ心の準備が じゃあ行かないのだって私がハリウッド行っちゃったらあのね、イツキマジックアイテムあたし最近すっごく充実してるなって思ってたんだ世界に居場所が欲しくてハリウッド女優目指してたはずだったのに uh, so keep in mind, eventually I'm going to contact all our subscribers and ask you to vote on a game for my fourth game to be streamed. That's a mouthful, wow. Oh, simply said, I'll contact subscribers, you'll vote for a game, 
That's the game I'll play for my fourth game there. Fortuna no mina to is shuni no ga tanoshkute. It's no manika. Koko ga atashi no ibasho nanda. So moeri yo ni natte tano. Chat decides? One or two. Oh, well, it happens. I can, like, grab some water. Hey, Morrison. Glad to see you're back, man. We're seeing a lot of, uh, regular faces here for TMS. That makes me happy. Well, not just regular faces, actually. It's, uh, old and new faces. That's a better thing, really. It's, like, mostly two. Two of those. Hey, Oro, are you working right now? So, 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 it's just like a, a little pat on the shoulder, but when people are working and watching my stream, I feel a little weird, right? I, I don't want to be like a distraction towards what they're doing, but I understand that doing work and having no sort of like mental relaxation is going to be mind numbing. I'm gonna choose this one. Mata Yakuzukuri. Chanto boite de creta no, eh? Demo, conca wa Yakuzukuri janaiwa. That's good to hear, you know? A lot of things are changing right now, so. When I see an old face pop back into the stream, it just makes me feel better. Because, you know, things are changing, but not so much that it's unrecognizable. Would you go out on a date with a girl if she said it was because there was something she had to find out? Yeah, well, I... Possibly. Make the game tonight? No, there's no way! <laughs> Uh, this, this game is eight chapters. I'm in chapter five right now. Plus, I want to pace myself. RPGs are to be... Um... Experienced, I guess. By the way, Iski, do you remember the name of the show before it shifted genres? The high school romance one. Under <laughs> okay, the correct answer is one, by the way. I'll let the chat decide, though. One, the correct answer. Two, close to the correct answer. Or three, completely the incorrect answer. <laughs> okay, so Oral voted for one. Necros votes for one. I think Sonic votes for three. Dr. Meat says three, Eryx says three, Valva says three, Chaos says three. That's one, two, three. Okay, hang on. Sonic is one, Dr. Meat is two, Eryx is three, Valva is four, Chaos is five. It's. Sarumata dancer, Ginza ni arawaru. Dakke? Nani to machigaita no? Ne! Nani to machigaita no? Mashiro, sore ga kini natte shou ga nai wa! That's how I feel too, what the fuck? <laughs> Starts with a D. Well, I I, I can keep fucking this up. Oh. Okay, okay. So, what about you? The same thing. Sarumata dancer, Ginza ni arawaru, dakke? Nani to machigaeta no? Oh, exact same response. Okay, 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 okay. So the so the option now is one or two. I get the feeling that if you choose two, she might repeat, which I'm considering. But the thing about this game, though, is even though I have like almost almost no investment in the story, 
And I initially disliked the main character. It's been a lot more fun giving these options. <laughs> I guess that's okay though, because there's tons of uh, stories out there that are really character focused, and you still get something out of it. A lot, actually. I don't want to say it's like the characteristic of our times, but. I don't know. I'm actually okay with that. それがまさかこんなことになるなんてな。人生わからないわよね。ま、ある日突然ミラージュマスターに手のもライブとんでもだけどね。それじゃ、次行きましょうか。<笑> I'm gonna guess it's the 7 Eleven Slurpee again. Oh, yeah, I was right. <laughs> Fuck, look at that thing. What is that? Are you asking me to remember what it is? Okay, give me multiple choice. Love for <laughs> the answer is enzymes. I remember she said that, but I already know what I'm answering. <laughs> How do you die? それっぽいこと言ってお茶濁そうとしたってダメなんだから。ちゃんと考えて。Sure. It's, it's enzymes, I remember. That is like messing with people, it's fun. And I don't mean any harm. That's right. ハリウッドセレブご用達の一品よ。まあ、即答できなかったのは残念だけど、一応覚えててくれたってことにしとくわ。今日のこれは一体何なんだ大事なことなのこのスムージーさ、今だ。Just kidding, bro. It's just a prank. ぶっちゃけあんまり好きじゃない。I <laughs> I don't know. I find that meme is so funny nowadays even though it's like it comes from like really rude roots. <laughs> just a prank, bro. Just a social experiment. Not <laughs> It's kind of like, uh, do you even lift, bro? Right? That that meme actually comes from a pretty rude response because it's. I believe it came from a a forum that's all about bodybuilding, right? <laughs> So if you're in a forum all about bodybuilding, you would assume that people who are on that forum are interested in physical health. And uh, for a person who actually works out a lot of their life, saying that's really rude. this, <laughs> How do I personally feel? Well, I mean, if you're asking me, not the main character, or is the main character me? All right. Uh, I feel happy for you, but I feel sad. Maybe that's like the most generic response, but it's honestly how I feel. I want to be direct about this one. Let's 
いつきはやっぱりそう言うよねエリーさあ行きましょう次はジュエルショップね<笑>前回と同じコース巡るんだなまあねじゃないと意味ないからね意味Buy her a ring? That's a little bit too much if you ask me. What is that facial expression? What the fuck? Why did they choose that? It's like he's disgusted. Oh, he actually is. Okay. Mata quiz ka? Kyou no Eri wa nanka okashi zo. Nasai. Sa itsuki. Ano date no toki ni atashi ga hoshigatta accessory wa dore? I actually don't remember. I straight up don't remember. But it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to get the correct answer. One, two, or three, your choice. Three, 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 one. Two, three, two, 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 three. Whoa, we have four threes, four twos. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna shit all it up. Yes, so good. Yeah, yeah. She got the kid. So did she go? Oh, I didn't know you need to get on me. ちゃんと思い出してお願いだから OK 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 Alright 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 In real life I wouldn't screw someone this much Right Cause she's She's evidently trying to like See if you remember her as her memory ミラーモデルのブレスレットだったっけミラも大ファンだけどハリウッド女優だけどそれじゃないわ Oh Well, whoops. <laughs> okay, Nanari model no necklace. Jacorecono Jat and Anio Jat. So, yo, Atasiva Kono Nanari no necklace of Kinitano. E. Chanto Boeta. Okay, okay, okay. Necklace for Nanali. I'll remember that. I promise. I promise I'll remember. You can ask me tomorrow, and I'll be like, I remember. She wants the earrings for the Mothra. <laughs> earrings for Mothra. <laughs> oh, thanks for following for that, though. Nah, Eddie. Kyou wa itai nani o? Eddie? そういえばここでなんとなく掴んだのよね恋する女の子の気持ちってやつを You know, I just realized For a chat of 122 people We have a very active chat あああの時のエリーのパフォーマー綺麗だった Well, you know な、何真顔でこっぱずかしいこと言ってんのよこの天然王子は I'll say this, Brazil In real life, there's more ways to avoid the question
そっかここで映画も見たよねそうよアンジはここから生まれたと言っても過言ではないわあの時はノリが良すぎるお客がいて結局ダメだったけどなああ<笑>そうだねよしここでのクイズは<笑>ずいぶん乗り気じゃないいいわようーん What clothing was I wearing that day? I was like, that would actually be a hard question. But given that this is an anime game, she's wearing the exact same clothing as she was that day. Okay, multiple choice. How much did I weigh back then? Why would I even know that? I'm pretty sure it was Evil Ball at Dead 4. But we're gonna go with Bad Hair Toe 3. Dohatsten 3! What's that damage shooter? And it's 3? I'm curious! That's it! Okay, now I feel bad. Alright, two. I got it. Shiryono Ankok Butokai. Oh. Well, but. No hint to Kara Yoko, Moida Sata Mondawa. I guess I'm not Jaka Yashkata. I guess that's it. You don't know what you need to know, eh? A nuisance? You know, this music would be a lot more powerful if we didn't have like the idols dancing in the back. The colorful folks screaming in response. The transformers dropping from the sky with a very erratic camera angle. Michael Bay in the background yelling explosions. But yeah. It was never a nuisance for me. I cherished all those memories. どれも大切な思い出。どうした? <laughs> Does that make Megumi and Michael Bay? That's a, actually, that's not, a, that's not a bad thought. Wait, is that someone's real emote? Wow. You're really is. <laughs> My god. ありがとう、いつき。あなたのおかげでようやく決心がついたわ。ちょっと寂しいな。今みたいに気楽にエリーに会えなくなるのか。やっと言ったわね。お？なんでもない。ちゃんと自分の居場所も確認できたし、これで安心してハリウッドに行けるわ。それに、私のことを覚えててくれる人もいるし。だから今日いろんなところ回ってたのか。ねえ、いつき。
外国行っても私のこと大丈夫だよどこに行ったって俺はエリーを忘れないうんだから安心して行ってきなよ<笑>もちろんハリウッド行きは今回のミラージュ騒動を片付けてからだけどねそれじゃあ頑張らないとねハリウッドのためにもうん you know, when I go to sleep tonight I'm not gonna think about these memories. I'm gonna think about that infernal buzzing. Okay, but the thing is, if Asami hasn't heard the buzzing before, it means that it's only relevant to tonight. Which means, to fix that. Huh. I wonder if I do this, it will fix it. The answer should be no. <laughs> oh my god, buttons, thanks for following. I guess the question is what now? I have the option to use the boss's side story if you can win for quite a while. <laughs> well, here's a question. Asami, when you last watched this stream, were you wearing headphones? And if you were, did you hear buzzing? Just now. Okay. I'm going to save and then I'm going to restart the stream.、Uh, I'll also restart the capture card. I'll do pretty much a reset for everything. If that fixes everything, then we're good. Like, this, this bothers me personally, okay? So I'm going to fix it right now. I will be right back.